Greetings, dear precious spirit soul that you are. Take a nice deep breath. Be right where you are. Notice where you are. Go into the inner space, see. My topic, things end, but nothing, no thing, never will. You go, what? Things end, but no thing, nothing, never will. Because you know the distinction between you and a thing. That's a big complaint in a lot of relationships that I'm treated like a thing. Or people treat others like things. Or they even treat animals like things. Kick them or throw them around, things like, you know, mean. Mean-spirited. And getting actually pleasure from the pain or the suffering of another. And you could, when that happens, you know that person is an abused soul. That person, for whatever reason, um, is so hurt hurt and in pain and suffering that um, they want to hurt others in that, in that sense. So something will end. Everything that is a creation has a beginning and an end. You don't have a beginning or an end. And it's important to know the distinction and be very conscious of that when you're actually speaking or referring to yourself. <coughs> and the words that we use predominantly are reflecting back to us our state of consciousness, how we feel and that sort of thing. When you, you're not a thing, you're a, a nothing, you are a someone, you are a zero, so to speak, and not a one. Is interesting, zero and one, they're, in a, they're the same, in a way. You go above the zero and the one. You go above the, um, the reality, and you observe it as a being, as a person. And the more you practice being who you are in the now, the stronger you become. And what, what I've noticed about the divine is that you don't need to worry. Worry is about fear. And it's always about future suffering. It isn't death that frightens people. It's the fear of how or what that means yet a lot of people say oh yeah it'd be great to be gone from this whatever torture they've been through the way to do that you have to give up the torture of the mind because the mind will follow you when you travel on to the astral plane or to the which is the subtle plane where your thoughts will manifest instantly and you could travel around, be anywhere simply in a thought or an emotion, and you really are anyway, but you don't have the density. So you don't have what it takes to manifest this. So a lot of people like to hang out in the astral. I'm not interested in any of that kind of stuff. And I would call myself a rudist because I'm looking for and have been seeking to find and have found the absolute or the ultimate that is possible and it's then the application of it it isn't just you know some people are really good memorizers and they can memorize stuff that's that's most education is about to mem you have to memorize it's not about helping you to know that you know and how you know that you know so when you observe the divine operating and working through you, what you need is there in the moment you need it, but it's not there before because you didn't need it. And when we know that and we have trust in that and trust in the divine, uh, at the same time we do what is there to be done and what needs to be done. 
but you're not allow you're not always reacting to what's going on in the outer world in loss or gain success failure am i okay not okay and what happens is that people then lack confidence in themselves and we're taught that you don't know we all tell others will tell you what you know and what to do because you don't know and you're not able and you can't make choices or decisions for yourself in every area others will do that for you and anybody that wants to do that is to actually to control you and the key is to own yourself and take back your eternal existence and your life and you do that by knowing that you are a nothing and you're not trying to be something. You don't even need to try to be who you are. You simply get into the pattern and the, and the habit, not a pattern, but the habit of being centered in yourself. And that comes from study, it comes from your meditation, it comes from the real commitment you have to yourself, a due diligence. It is a continual practice. And people say, oh, I, I, for a moment I did it, you know, I said a, thing, a positive affirmation once, it didn't work. Well, it isn't about the affirmation. It's about using the words to get you to a place where you don't need words because it brings you back to yourself beyond doubt. And self-doubt is the cause of all problems. Okay, so the solution is to acknowledge yourself as a no thing, and not identifying yourself as a meat stick or as your story or as any character. It's to get into the practice of 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 consistently and consciously and deliberately staying centered and being in self and not allowing anyone or anything to knock you off your center because when you do you've given that the power and it doesn't mean you're not sensitive and aware and 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 um, to be kind and empowering to people and such and yet also knowing that other people are going to be doing what they're doing with stuff depending on how much they're living from their own mind and believing that their own story, you see, I mean, take a nice deep breath and know that everything ends and no thing never will because you are eternity itself. That's who you are.